This is a list of planets, fictional or otherwise, that are mentioned in the British science fiction television series Doctor Who and its spin-off literature, audio plays, television series and comics. Topic A Abydos is a leisure planet mentioned in the Leisure Hive, hosting non-gravity swimming pools, sleep reading stations for accelerated learning and robotic gladiatorial games. Adipose 3 is the lost breeding planet of the Adipose. In The Stolen Earth, Davros is revealed to be responsible for its disappearance. The planet is returned to its rightful place in Journey's End. Agora is the homeworld of the Sixth Doctor's companion Grant Markham. In 2191, the Cybermen attempted to convert the planet into a Cybermen breeding ground to rebuild their race in the Virgin Missing Adventures book, Killing Ground. Akaton was a parasitic, sentient astronomical object that fed on the souls of the Sun Singers of Akhet. He was considered by the people of the neighboring worlds to be a great and fearsome god. Within his rings was the asteroid Tianamat, on which was held the Festival of Offerings, which served to keep him asleep. Alfava Metraxis is the seventh planet in the Dundra system in the Garn Belt, and was once home to the extinct Aplans. It was terraformed in the 49th century and colonized by humans sometime before the 51st century. It is home to more than one maze of the dead. Mass tombs where the dead are supposedly buried in the walls and represented with statues. However, all of the statues are revealed to be weeping angels. The Eleventh Doctor, Amy and River Song landed on this planet in the 51st century in the Time of Angels, after following the path of the spaceship, Byzantium. Alfalfa Metraxis has 11-hour days. Algol is a planet mentioned in Destiny of the Daleks. The economy of the planet is said to be in a terrible state. Alpha Canis I, also called Canis Major, is the home planet of the Canisians, a war-mongering race encountered in Death Comes to Time. Althrace is the name of both a star system and its primary planet, visited by the Fifth Doctor in the Doctor Who monthly comic strip, The Tides of Time. The planets of the system were bolted together around a white hole. The system was home to a race of higher evolutionaries, and to the demon Melanicus. Alvega is the closest planet to Skaro, inhabited by the vegetable race the Amaril. When the Daleks invaded the planet, they were defeated by the Amaril controller who controlled all Amaril on the planet in the TV Century 21 comic The Amaril Challenge. Alzarius is Adric's homeworld, located in eSpace. It appeared in the serial Full Circle. Its galactic coordinates are identical to those of Gallifrey. Except they were negative. Alzarius is covered in lush, dense forests and marshlands. Every 50 years, the planet is dragged further away from its sun by a larger planet, causing a phenomenon known as mistfall. Anagonia is a planet mentioned in the Seventh Doctor story The Greatest Show in the Galaxy. Anathema is the homeworld of the Eighth Doctor's companion Compassion. Andromeda, not to be confused with the constellation or galaxy, is the lush, green world seen in the Fifth Doctor serial Castrovalva. It is the location of the town of Castrovalva. Androzani Major and Androzani Minor are a pair of planets that form the setting of the serial The Caves of Androzani. Androzani Minor features a network of caves, inhabited by Spectrix producing giant bats. When the planet moved closer to Androzani Major, mud burst from Androzani Minor's core. The planets are located in the Sirius system. Both planets were once covered by water but have become hot and arid desert planets. Native life on Androzani Minor includes the Magma Beast, which lives in Androzani Minor's bubbling mud pools. Androzani Major was also named as the place which the Harvest Rangers were from in the 2011 Christmas special, The Doctor, The Widow and the Wardrobe. Anath, home of the Anethans, was forced to pay tribute to the planet Skanos in the fourth Doctor story The Horns of Nyman. 
Anima Persis is a geopsychic world, inhabited by the psychic ghosts of its long dead inhabitants. It was visited by the Doctor in Death Comes to Time. The planet is completely sterile and barren due to wars on the planet long ago. Anura is a planet almost entirely covered in water, home to an amphibian race. Apollopusha is a paradise planet visited by the 11th Doctor, Amy Pond and Rory Williams in The Girl Who Waited. According to the Doctor, the planet was voted number two in the top ten destinations for the discerning intergalactic traveler, and boasts soaring spires, silver colonnades and the mirrored Glassmere Mountains. The planet had a pinkish-purple sky and an oxygen-rich atmosphere. Upon arrival, however, the travelers find the planet quarantined, following an outbreak of the contagious alien disease Chen 7. Arractus is a planet mentioned in Wooden Heart. Arcadia is a planet colonized by humans in the 25th century, and the setting of the Virgin New Adventures novel Deceit. In the Torchwood episode, Kiss Kiss, Bang Bang. Part of the plot revolves around Captain Jack Harkness's former partner Captain John Hart's search for an Arcadian diamond. The Mayflower, a colony ship seen in the Doctor Who monthly comic strip, Prophets of Doom, was headed to settle Arcadia. In Vincent and the Doctor, Amy Pond mentions that the Doctor had taken her to visit Arcadia. It is not confirmed whether these instances all refer to the same planet. None of these, however, are the location of the fall of Arcadia from the Time War, which refers to a city on the planet Gallifrey. Arcatine V is a planet mentioned in the Sarah Jane Adventure story, Invasion of the Bane. It is the home planet of the Butterfly People, which include a star poet, associate of Sarah Jane Smith, and a criminal called Mary in the Torchwood episode, Greeks Bearing Gifts. Architrix is the home planet of a time-active race, visited in the audio drama The Apocalypse Element, and mentioned in other Doctor Who audio dramas. Arcopolis is the setting for the Eyeless. Arden, the home of the Shen, is the setting for the Virgin Missing Adventures book Shadow Mind. Argolis is the setting of the serial The Leisure Hive. Argolis is the first of the Argolan leisure planets. Argolis became radioactive after the Argolans' 20-minute war with the Fomasi. The surviving Argolans then built a leisure hive, and abandoned their warlike culture to promote peace and understanding between alien races. Iridius was once an aquatic planet in a binary star system, covered by the Sagaro Sea. Amphibious Iridians dwelt in a city beneath the ocean which came under attack from flesh-eating octopoids called Mire Beasts, which dwelt in the slime of the seabed. But over a thousand years the planet's twin suns moved closer and closer, burning up the sea and creating the Sagaro Desert. It is the setting for the beginning of the chase. Arcanus Major is a planet visited by the Doctor, Rose and Jack in the Stealers of Dreams where fiction is banned. It is also known as Colony World 4378976, Delta IV, Oneros, Journey's End and Discovery. Archean, also known as the Planet of Ghosts, is a planet located near the Crab Nebula, just past the Pleiades, left at the Blue Star Worlds. Temporal echoes resembling ghosts roamed the surface due to a temporal fissure in the planet's core. The world was virtually destroyed by the Daleks, but the remains were visited in Prisoner of the Daleks. Arteris is a planet visited in the Excellus trilogy of audio plays, beginning with Excellus Dons. Excellus was a major city-state on the planet. Bernice Summerfield and Iris Wildthyme also visited the planet. Asgard is a planet on which the Doctor and River Song went picnicking. It was mentioned in Silence in the Library. Astra is a planet mentioned in the rescue. The crew of Vicky's spaceship were traveling from Earth to Astra when they crashed on Dido. The Asylum is the planet where the Eleventh Doctor, Amy and Rory are sent by the Daleks in the episode, Asylum of the Daleks. It was where the Daleks imprisoned insane members of their race. 
It was infected with nanogenis which transformed anyone, living or dead, into a zombie-like Dalek puppet to serve as part of the planet's security system. It was destroyed by the Dalek Empire at the end of the episode. Atrios is a planet at war with Zeos in the Armageddon Factor. Agia is a planet mentioned in Sting of the Zygons. The planet mirrors Greek mythology and the Twelve Labors of Hercules. Oros is a planet colonized by humans in the Earth Empire, with a temperate climate and a single small moon. It was destroyed in the novel Prisoner of the Daleks. Avalon is a planet with six moons. Once home to an advanced race, it was colonized by humans, setting up a nation named Elbion. The Doctor visited Avalon circa 3025 in the novel The Sorcerer's Apprentice. Axista IV is the planet on which the independent Earth colony was founded by Stuart Ransom in 2439. The second Doctor, Jamie McCrimmon, and Zoe Harriet visited this colony in 2539 in the past Doctor Adventures book, The Colony of Lies. Azure is a blue planet seen from the ships in the fourth Doctor story Nightmare of Eden. Its implied location is West Galaxy and the Empress spaceship had a seasonal charter to ferry passengers between the planet and Station 9. The peoples of Azure enact the death penalty for drug trafficking. Topic B Bandragenus V was a planet rich in the rare mineral Oolion until it was destroyed by Zanak in the pirate planet. It had over a thousand million inhabitants. Bandral is the planet of the Bandrals, the enemies of the Carfelans in the Sixth Doctor story Timelash. Barcelona is a planet where dogs have no noses, mentioned in The Parting of the Ways and the 2005 Children in Need special. In the Ninth Doctor's opinion, it is a fantastic place. Betafarn is a planet mentioned in the Ninth Doctor novel Only Human. There was an infinite recession on this planet, leading to the ban of the psychic credit card. Belania II is another planet mentioned in the Eighth Doctor Adventures. Belania IV is a planet the Eighth Doctor and Sam visited in Bell Tempest. Belafarin is a planet mentioned in the Tenth Doctor new series adventures novel The Last Dodo. Bellafors is a planet mentioned in The Two Doctors. Besson is a planet, mentioned as one of many which were conquered by the Krillitanes in School Reunion. Beta II is a planet mentioned in State of Decay which was discovered to be located in the Paragelis system. Betelgeuse is mentioned in Destiny of the Daleks as coming a close second to Arcturus in the Galactic Olympic Games. Professor Chronotus also owned a book entitled Alternative Betelgeuse in the untelevised story Shada. Betrusha features in the Virgin New Adventures novel Saint Anthony's Fire. Biblios is also known as the Library Planet. All the data in the known universe is stored here, even about the Doctor himself and about his adventures. The Fourth Doctor and K9 Mark II visited this planet in the comic strip, War of the Words. Blenhorm Ogan is a planet mentioned briefly in the novel Prisoner of the Daleks. Blestinu was a world on which the Paracon Corporation caused a war to generate dead bodies to fertilize rapine. Blestinuians were a reptilian race. Blini Gar is a planet visited by the Seventh Doctor in the novel Prime Time. It is an agricultural world with an all-encompassing televisual culture. It has a single moon, Blini Orcos. Bliss is a planet that has been subject to experiments. It was visited by the Seventh Doctor, Ace and Hex in Enemy of the Daleks. Bonerka Anarda is a planet mentioned in The Power of Kroll, where there are methane-catalyzing refineries in every town. Borromeo is a planet mentioned in the Seventh Doctor Adventure The Greatest Show in the Galaxy. Bortrisoi is the home planet of the Eighth Doctor's companion Kariz. This planet appeared in the Big Finish Productions Adventure The Creed of the Chromon. Brudak is the home planet of the Brudak, an alien race featured in the Torchwood original novel Another Life. 
Brus is a planet which had a section of its terrain captured by the continuous event transmuter in Nightmare of Eden. It is seen in the first image shown on the set machine and has a light blue atmosphere which supports vegetation. The ground is covered by a rolling white mist and tannish yellow mountains can be seen in the distance. Boken is a barren, desert planet rich in oil and covered by tannish yellow sand first mentioned in the second episode of The Infinite Quest and the prime setting of the third, fourth and fifth episodes. It is in orbit around three artificial suns. It is the location of the first data chip that will lead to the infinite. Topic C. Calyopticon is the home planet to the dwarf people race, the Metacons. It was mentioned in the Dalek Pocketbook and Space Traveler's Guide. Califrax is a dead, icy planet about 14,000 kilometers across which was in actuality a disguised segment of the key to time. The planet was subsequently shrunk and stolen by the pirate captain in the pirate planet. Califrax Minor is mentioned in The Stolen Earth as one of the 27 planets taken by Davros. The comic series The Forgotten specifies that is not the same planet as Califrax. It is home to an insect-like species of parasites. Carsus is a planet which the Sixth Doctor and Mel visited in the past Doctor Adventures book, Spiral Scratch. The Library of Carsus, the largest knowledge repository in the universes, is located on this planet. It is located in the same stellar system as Lakertia. Cashel is a planet mentioned by the Tenth Doctor in the story, The Bog Warrior. It is a completely average planet populated by humans and consists of two kingdoms, Toland and Lindo. Cassius is a yet undiscovered outer planet of our solar system, located beyond Pluto, as mentioned by K9 in the Sun Makers. Castor 36 is a planet promised to Luke Rattigan by the Santarans in The Poison Sky. Catastrophia features in the past Doctor Adventures novel of that name. Katrigan Nova is a planet to which the Master promises to take his masseuse Tanya in Last of the Time Lords. It has whirlpools of gold. Centauri 7 is a planet mentioned in Time and the Rani. Sep Cassilon, a group of integrated planets, are mentioned in the book Monsters and Villains, and are referenced as a place in the year 5 billion where the face of Bo is known as the creature that God forgot. Chavich 5 is a planet mentioned in The Long Game, the government of which has collapsed by the year 200,000, reducing the emigration of its inhabitants. Cheem is the home planet of the Forest of Cheem, highly evolved trees who sent delegates to witness the death of the Earth. Cheetah Planet is the unnamed homeworld of the Cheetah people in the Seventh Doctor serial Survival. It is a beautiful world, with sand dunes and forests near a great lake. It is also a deadly world which the natives share a symbiotic relationship with. Chelonia is the home of the Chelonians, tortoise-like aliens introduced in the Virgin New Adventures novel The Highest Science. Chimeria is a lush, green planet mentioned in Delta and the Bannerman. It is known as the Garden Planet. Chimera IV is a forest planet that holds sanctuary for the kind Chimerans, descended from the Chimeras that left ancient Greece. Chloris is the setting of the fourth Doctor serial The Creature from the Pit. In The Creature from the Pit, Chloris is discovered to be a lush, green jungle planet high in vegetable matter but low in minerals. Through extensive research, the planet is discovered to have two suns. Kronos is the setting for the webcast Real Time. The planet was conquered by the Cybermen. Synathon is a planet mentioned in the Seventh Doctor story The Greatest Show in the Galaxy. Klom is the home planet of the Abzerbalov mentioned by the creature in the 2006 series episode Love and Monsters, as being the twin planet of Raxacorica Philopatorius. In The Stolen Earth, Klom is one of the 27 planets that have been taken out of time and space by Davros and the Daleks. In hearing that the Daleks have taken Klom the Tenth Doctor remarks, Klom's gone. Who'd want Klom? 
In Revenge of the Slitheen, one of the Slitheen characters is heard to say, for the love of Klom, in frustration. There is a Disneyland on Klom, mentioned in, The Girl Who Waited. Clix is a planet mentioned in the Sarah Jane Adventures episodes Revenge of the Slitheen and the Gift as being one of four planets in the Roxas Alliance, alongside Raxacorica Philopatorius, Rahakaritso Varlanpatorius and Klom. Kalano Alpha and Kalano Beta are both mentioned in the story The Robots of Death. They are believed to be covered by thick sand. Calabria is a planet mentioned in the fifth series The Sarah Jane Adventures Story Sky. The planet is red in color and features a stunning set of fiery rings. Calactin is a planet mentioned in The Pirate Planet. It was destroyed by the planet Zanak for its minerals. The Colony Planet was an otherwise unnamed world that was home to a human colony, which had been infiltrated by Macra. It may lie within Galaxy M87, although this is uncertain. Cotter Paluni's World, a.k.a. Kata Paluni's World, is a planet where the skies are constantly bombarded by electricity or lightning storms, mentioned in the episode, The Santaran Stratagem. Kraith Tech Hadra is a planet mentioned in the Doctor Who Annual. On the side of one of its mountains, there are carvings of the Time War with the words, You are not alone, scratched underneath the hieroglyphs and symbols. Kranoth is a planet visited in the Horns of Nyman. Topic. D D5 Gamma Z Alpha is the Movellan name for Skaro. Demos aka Demos is the home planet of the demons in the story The Demons. It is also mentioned in The Satan Pit as one of many planets with legends of a horned beast. Vorg and Sherna mention visiting a planet called Demos in Episode 2 of Carnival of Monsters, but it is unclear whether this is the same planet. Dakito is a planet controlled by the Shadow King. Darbodia is a planet visited by the Doctor and his grandchildren, John and Jillian, in the Doctor Who magazine comic strip, The Land of Happy Endings. Darkheart is a planet located in the gap between the galaxy's spiral arms, connected to its star's mass via a dimensional bridge. It was the location of the Darkheart device, a machine that could destroy planets and alter morphic fields. DARP is a planet mentioned in Nightmare of Eden. Derillium, a.k.a. Derillium, is the location of the Singing Towers. The Doctor took Professor River Song, in his future and her past, to see these towers just before she had to go to the library. It was mentioned in Forest of the Dead, and later appeared in The Husbands of River Song. Delphon is a planet where the natives communicate with their eyebrows, first mentioned in Spearhead from Space. The language is spoken in the Big Finish Productions audio play. Dot ish. Desperus is the penal planet of the solar system in the 41st century, seen in the Daleks' master plan. The native creatures of Desperus are the Screamers. Diva Loca, known as Planet S14 it is home to the Kinda people in the fifth Doctor serial Kinda. It was once part of the Manusan Empire. There are no predatory animals on Diva Loca, no diseases or adverse environmental factors. The climate is constant within a 5 degree range and the trees fruit in sequence all the year round. Dokken is a planet visited in the Doctor Who magazine comic strip, The Glorious Dead. Dokken was ruled by Cardinal Morningstar, head of the Church of the Glorious Dead. It was in fact Earth, whose history had been perverted by the Master. Diadem is the most relaxing planet in the galaxy. It was seen in the Crystal Bucephalus. Dido is the setting of the rescue. It is a mountainous desert world home to vicious-looking but harmless sand beasts, and to a mysterious humanoid race. The doctor describes the natives as a people to whom violence is totally alien. Dioscuros is a planet on which Captain Cook once saw a shrine, as mentioned in the seventh Doctor story The Greatest Show in the Galaxy. Diplos is a G-class planet in Tau Ceti. 
It was the home of Césaire, the doctor's adversary in the Stones of Blood who had stolen the Great Seal of Diplos, which possessed the powers of transmutation, transformation and the establishing of hyperspatial and temporal coordinates. Discurus is another planet that was destroyed by Planet Zanak. It was mentioned in the Pirate Planet. Draconia is the homeworld of the Draconians and features in the serial frontier in space. Draconia and Earth become the dominant space-faring species at some point in the future, leading to conflict. It is also mentioned in The Satan Pit as one of many planets with legends of a horned beast. Drava is the home planet of the Dravans, a female warrior race encountered by the first doctor in Galaxy 4. Dravidia is a planet in the Rexel planetary configuration, mentioned during the sole performance of William Shakespeare's lost play Love's Labors 1 in The Shakespeare Code. A Dravidian ship crash landed on Karn in the brain of Morbius. The Dravidians are featured in the Doctor Who book The Planet of Oblivion, part of the Darksmith legacy. Dronid is a planet mentioned in the unfinished serial Shada. Duchamp 331 is a planet used as a refueling station for ships. It also has a gallery and a few businesses. It rains dust every day and every night there is a loud, Dalek-like scream that can be heard throughout the planet. According to legend, the origin of the screaming is that a long time ago, a Dalek saucer came down to land but the dust dragged it down and destroyed it. The Seventh Doctor and Ace visited the planet in dust breeding. Dulcus is the planet on which the second Doctor encounters the Dominators in the Dominators. Dust, later Foreman's World, is a former Earth colony on the dead frontier at the edge of the galaxy. Vigilante gangs called Klansmen are active there. It is later renamed Foreman's World after the 13th incarnation of traveling Time Lord I.M. Foreman merges with its biosphere. It appeared in the Eighth Doctor Adventures novel Interference, Book 2. Topic E. Earth, is the home planet of humans and a frequent target for alien invasions. Other sentient species with terrestrial origins include Silurians and sea devils. Fairies. And, in an alternate future, hemivores. Earth is first seen in an unearthly child and many times thereafter. Eden is a dark, hostile jungle world seen in Nightmare of Eden. It is the native planet of the mandrels. It has an orange atmosphere and is constantly bathed in orange twilight. Native plant life includes meat-eating plants, which are also seen in Nightmare of Eden, when one attacks the doctor. FT Major is the home planet of the avaricious, slug-like FTs, seen in the Doctor Who monthly comic strip, Prophets of Doom. And Landia is a planet mentioned in the Ark in Space. It is a planet entirely covered by water. Epsilon 40 Gamma, a.k.a. Epsilon 4, is a planet mentioned in the story The Dominators. Esto is a planet visited by the first Doctor and Susan Foreman before the start of the TV series. It is home to telepathic plants. It was mentioned in the story The Sensorites. Eudamus is another planet mentioned in the seventh Doctor story The Greatest Show in the Galaxy. Exarius is a planet visited in the story Colony in Space, also spelled Uxarius. Exilin is the planet on which the third Doctor encounters the Daleks in Death to the Daleks. According to the Doctor, the great city of the Exilons is one of the seven hundred wonders of the universe. After its destruction, he sadly says that the universe has now been reduced to 699 wonders. It is also the origin of a spaceship that crashed in Mexico in the Virgin New Adventures novel The Left-Handed Hummingbird. The Eye of Orion is the wet, tranquil planet visited by the Fifth Doctor at the beginning of the Five Doctors. It is a planet constantly bombarded by positive ions and is believed, at least by the Doctor, to be one of the most beautiful and peaceful planets in the cosmos. Ruins on the planet suggest that it once had a civilization. 
According to Martha Jones' blog after the last time war, a shrine was built on this planet in memorial to that war. Topic F Phageros is another planet mentioned in the Seventh Doctor story The Greatest Show in the Galaxy. Felspoon is a planet mentioned by Donna in Journey's End. The planet has mountains that sway in the breeze. Fifteenth Broken Moon is located in the legendary Medusa Cascade. It apparently is broken in large pieces and is mentioned by the Tenth Doctor in the episode The Santaran Stratagem. The fifth planet in our solar system was destroyed by the Time Lords in an attempt to destroy the Fendal. The planet's remains create the asteroid field that lies between Mars and Jupiter. Fissar is a planet mentioned by Mavic Chen in the Daleks' Master Plan. Florana is one of the universe's most beautiful planets, mentioned at the end of Invasion of the Dinosaurs. It is said by the Doctor that its land is carpeted by perfumed flowers, seas of warm milk and sand as soft as swans down. It is also described as having oceans of effervescent water where the bubbles support you in death to the Daleks. Foreman's world is another name for dust. Phrytus is a planet mentioned in the Rebo's operation. Frontios is a colony planet in the Varuna system in the serial of the same name. Frontios is a desert planet and is often bombarded by sandstorms and gale force winds. Topic G. Galaxis Bright and Galaxis Dark are sister planets mentioned in the novella Night Dreamers. Dark was economically superior to Bright. The moon Verd orbited Bright. Gallifrey is the home planet of the Time Lords. It was first seen, but not named, in the War Games and first named, but not seen, in the Time Warrior. It was thought to be destroyed in a Time War, wiping out nearly all of the Time Lord race. It was in fact saved by all of 13 incarnations of the Doctor in the 50th anniversary special, The Day of the Doctor, and trapped in stasis in a pocket universe. It has burnt orange skies and snow-covered mountains, silver-leafed trees and red grass. Gallifrey's system has two suns. The Time Lord Council attempted to restore the planet beyond the Time War from within the Time Lock, using the Master and a white point star to form a physical connection beyond the Time Lock, but the Tenth Doctor destroyed the link. Galsic 7 is a planet mentioned in the Santaran experiment. It is where a human colony is located. Gameworld Gamma is a lush, green world owned by Mr. and Mrs. Paku, as seen in the Doctor Who Adventures. It is used to hunt humans in the year 5 billion. Gouda Prime is a human colony planet in the Earth Empire and a tough place to live. It was mentioned in Prisoner of the Daleks. Giron is a planet mentioned in Mission to the Unknown. This is also the name of one of the delegates in the Galactic Council. Gidu is a stormy planet mentioned in Nightmare of Eden. Gidu has a light pinkish-yellow atmosphere and has a wide variety of vegetation. Its surface is often bombarded by gale force winds. Glasson Minor is a planet mentioned in The Creature from the Pit. Gliese 581 d a known exoplanet that was the setting of the episode Smile. The planet was the site of one of humanity's earliest colonies following the evacuation of the Earth. Golobus is another planet mentioned in the Seventh Doctor story The Greatest Show in the Galaxy. The Gaunt homeworld is the unnamed planet of the humanoid Gaunts, who were in the thrall of the Crotons. Gragic Major is one of the planet's rows and the Doctor visited mentioned in Justin Richards' Ultimate Monster Guide. Granados is another planet that was destroyed by Zanak in the Pirate Planet. Grat is a world visited in the comic book, The Whispering Gallery. Emotion is outlawed amongst the humanoid inhabitants of this rainy world, described as a dwarf planet. Griffoth is the home planet of the Graysk, and is seen in the interactive episode, Attack of the Graysk. Gryophis is a planet mentioned in Paradise Towers. 
The Grold homeworld is a small, hot planet with a rarefied atmosphere. It is tidally locked, therefore lacking a day-night cycle. The Grold were fluorosilicon-based, and appeared in the Eye of the Giant. Grillon is yet another planet mentioned in the greatest show in the galaxy. Grundle is a planet mentioned in Carnival of Monsters. A swampy satellite of this planet is home to the vicious Drashigs. Topic H. Hackle, aka Harkle, is a planet mentioned in the Fifth Doctor serial, The Awakening. A probe from this planet features in The Awakening. The people of Harkle can harness psychic energy and use tinclavic metal acquired from Raga. Halcya is a tranquil planet briefly visited in the comic strip, The Gift. Halergan 3, a.k.a. Harlequin 3, is a holiday planet mentioned in the Rebo's operation. Hastus Minor is a planet mentioned in the Monsters Inside. Ermin Shrew Blatherine is revealed to have led a talent agency on this planet. Heaven is the setting of the Virgin New Adventures novel Love and War by Paul Cornell. It lies between human space and the Draconian Empire, but despite being beautiful and peaceful, has no tactical value or mineral wealth. It was a jointly administered burial ground for humans and Draconians, but became part of a plot by the Houthi. Hedron is a planet where the advanced inhabitants conducted disastrous experiments with time, as seen in the Doctor Who monthly comic strip, Time Bomb. Eradi is a planet mentioned in Frontios. Hell is the homeworld of the Helkins, who were enslaved by the Daleks to mine pockets of the highly toxic Helkogen gas beneath the planet's surface in the Doctor Who magazine comic strip story Nemesis of the Daleks. It also appeared in Emperor of the Daleks. Hermethica is the homeworld of the Wire as mentioned in the book Creatures and Demons. The Hermethicans are not naturally formless, but the Wires group found a way to transform themselves into plasmic energy and use their abilities to attempt takeover of the planet. The unnamed planet on which Hokesh was located orbited an old star near the center of the galaxy, suffering from temporal disturbances. Hokesh was a city, and a life form, visited in the novella Citadel of Dreams. House is a malevolent, sentient planetoid, located in a tiny bubble universe. House gorged itself on Artron energy, and used Gallifreyan distress signals left by Time Lords that crashed on its surface to entrap other Time Lords and their TARDISes in order to feed on them. Such as a distress signal attracted the attention of the Eleventh Doctor in The Doctor's Wife. Harala is a planetoid that hosted a lodestar station, a stopping-off point for travelers to more distant planets. It was located in the Lazarin solar region. It had long been abandoned by the time the Doctor arrived there in the novel Prisoner of the Daleks. High Sparrow is a planet visited by the Eighth Doctor in the novel The Scarlet Empress. Its capital city, by the same name, has huge markets. High Sparrow has a 21-hour day cycle, a mythological quality to life and its literature celebrates thieves and assassins. Topic I Indigo 3 is the location of the Blue Desert in the audio drama The Skull of Sobek. The desert is perfectly symmetrical, but in the center is the Sanctuary of Imperfect Symmetry, a religious retreat which exists to counterbalance the desert's perfection. Inter Minor and Inter Major features in the third Doctor serial Carnival of Monsters as the location of the miniscope. Iphitus is yet another planet mentioned in the greatest show in the galaxy. Topic. J. Jaconda is the planet on which the Sixth Doctor serial The Twin Dilemma is set. It was once a lush, green world with lush meadows and wooded countryside. It was also once well known for its friendly natives. However, in present times, it has become an almost dead, barren and arid planet, with little vegetation. It also smells of rotting vegetables. 
On some parts of the planet, forests of dead trees can be seen for miles. Jahu is one of the 27 planets taken by Davros in The Stolen Earth. Jalian 17 is a planet mentioned in Prisoner of the Daleks. The Doctor describes it as all right for a party. Jan Francis IX is the planet visited by the Doctor, Romana, Tavius and Janet sometime in the New Adventures of Doctor Who history. Junk is one of the planets featured in the new series adventures novel Shining Darkness. The whole planet is a scrapyard and is located in the Andromeda Galaxy. Jupiter is the sixth planet from Earth's Sun. The fifth planet was destroyed by the Time Lords, and its remains create the asteroid field that lies between Mars and Jupiter. A gas giant, Jupiter has immense gravity. An orbiting space station is the setting for the novel Fear itself. The planet has many moons including, in the future, Voga. Justicia is a system of prison planets featured in the new series adventures novel The Monsters Inside by Stephen Cole. The Justicia system has lots of planets, six of which are named after letters in the Greek alphabet, Justice Alpha, Justice Beta, Justice Gamma, Justice Delta and Justice Epsilon. There is also another planet called Justice Prime. Rose Tyler mentions her visit to Justicia in the episode, Boom Town, the first explicit reference to a plot point from the novels in the television program. Topic K. Collar is a planet mentioned in the Doctor Who episode, A Town Called Mercy. It was said to have been the site of a devastating war. Native planet of the humanoid race known as the Collar, who are said to be great builders. Kalakiki is another planet from the greatest show in the galaxy. Kalaya is the homeworld of the Kalarians, foes of the Salakians. Kaldor is a planet featured in the Robots of Death. Kantra is a warm, tropical world mentioned in Destiny of the Daleks. It is the native planet of the Kantrians. Kanvil is a planet mentioned in Mind Warp. Captain 5 is a planet mentioned in the Virgin New Adventures, which is home to more than 60 sentient species including butterfly people and avian messengers. It was conquered by the Caxterids, who wiped out four of the sentient species, made deals with four, and enslaved the rest. Keras Don Kazra Don Slava is a planet with intelligent sand and singing fish. Kar Charid is a planet close to the edge of the galaxy, home to a race composed of water. It is the location of a vast library complex, visited in the audio The Genocide Machine. Carful is the setting of the serial Timelash. It is a barren, rocky, gray planet that orbits two suns known as Rearbus and Seelinx. Its natives have an uneasy relationship with the neighboring planet of Bandral. Karn is home to the sisterhood of Karn in the brain of Morbius. It is an almost barren world with a mountainous terrain that is often bombarded by fierce lightning storms, as seen in the brain of Morbius. The Eighth Doctor died in a crash here in The Night of the Doctor, only to be revived and regenerated by the Sisterhood into the War Doctor. The Twelfth Doctor later visited Karn to deliver his confession dial to Sister Ohila so that she could deliver the disc to the Master. The Doctor was soon after tracked to the planet by an agent of Davros. Karis is one of the planets featured in the new series adventures novel Shining Darkness. Cass is one of the ten planets that had its entire population stolen, bar one person, in IDW's Doctor Who comic series. Castoferia aka Catastrophia is a planet positioned between the United Planets Association and the Draconian Empire. It is home an advanced race of giant humanoids named the People. Castria is the home planet of Eldred, and features in the Hand of Fear. Once a lush planet, it has an icy, rocky and barren surface that is constantly bombarded by solar winds and suffers from frigid temperatures as seen in the Hand of Fear. Catafloco is a planet mentioned in the episode, The Santaran Stratagem. It is said to have diamond coral reefs and is presumed to be a tropical, paradise world. 
Katakiki is another planet mentioned in the greatest show in the galaxy. Katoria is a planet named in the new series adventures novel The Clockwise Man. It was ruled by a tyrannical dictator by the name of Shade Vasily until he was overthrown by a group of revolutionists and was sentenced to exile on Earth. Kegrin Pluva is a planet with the maddest ecosystem in the universe, mentioned in the new series adventures novel Only Human. Kemble is the setting of Mission to the Unknown and much of the Dalek's master plan. It is mostly covered in large, inhospitable jungles home to many strange creatures. It is described as the most hostile planet known, and only the Dalek forces were willing to use it as a base. However, when the Time Destructor is activated there by the First Doctor, the planet is reduced to a desert. Kinjana is a planet mentioned in the Tenth Doctor new series adventures novel The Last Dodo. Kirith is the planet of the Kirithons and setting of the Virgin New Adventures story Timeworm, Apocalypse. Kletchton is a planet described as being pretty dull by the Doctor in Prisoner of the Daleks. Kolkakran a.k.a. Kolkakran is a planet mentioned in Frontios. It is a rocky, barren planet covered by boulders, boulders and more boulders. Korharn is a planet mentioned in the episode 42. The Tenth Doctor takes Martha Jones there to ice skate on its mineral lakes. Kosnax is a planet mentioned in Time Flight. Karis Don Slava is a planet mentioned in the episode Amy's Choice. It is home to the Candle Meadows and is the origin of psychic pollen. Cream is a planet mentioned in the Space Museum. Krillia is the home planet of the Krillitanes. Krontep is a planet mentioned in Mind Warp. Crop Tor is a planet impossibly in orbit around a black hole designated K37 Gem 5, and the setting of the Impossible Planet and the Satan Pit. Its name translates to the Bitter Pill in Faltino, the legend being that the black hole was a demon who was tricked into swallowing the planet only to spit it out after discovering that it was poison. It was destroyed when it fell into the black hole. Kylos is another planet mentioned in the Space Museum. Chiral is a watery planet that was home to a human expedition, a humanized Dalek colony, and a native beast named Cataphobus. Visited in the Doctor Who magazine comic strip. Children of the Revolution. Topic L. Lakertia is the setting of the serial time and the Rani. It is a peaceful and primitive planet. Most of the planet is rocky and mountainous, with little vegetation. It is covered by lakes. Laylara is the setting of the new series adventures novel The Price of Paradise. It is often referred to as the Paradise Planet. Leela's homeworld was visited in the face of evil. It is a planet covered by dense forests and has a pinkish atmosphere. It also has mountains. Lelix is another planet mentioned in the greatest show in the galaxy. Leia Phantos a.k.a. Leo Vantos is another planet mentioned in the greatest show in the galaxy. Levithia is a planet mentioned in the Rebo's operation. The library is a planet containing every book from throughout time. The planet was abandoned when it was invaded by a deadly swarm of Vashta Narada which devoured all the visitors and staff. The Tenth Doctor and Donna travel to the planet in Silence in the Library. After the doctor receives an emergency call from the planet on his psychic paper. It is orbited by Dr. Moon, an artificial satellite with a human-like AI which maintains the computer systems on the planet through wireless connection. Limnos 4 is a leisure planet mentioned in the Leisure Hive, hosting non-gravity swimming pools, sleep reading stations, accelerated learning and robotic gladiatorial games. Livonia is the main setting for the second Doctor audio story Fear of the Daleks. Loam is the setting of the Doctor Who magazine comic strip story The Woman Who Sold the World. It is a world undergoing a planet clearance 
by a race of giant robots known as the High Goliaths. Lobos features in the second Doctor serial The Space Pirates. It is a frontier world where the character Milo Clancy has his base. Logopolis is the setting of much of the action in the serial Logopolis. It is home to a race of mathematicians who are masters of block transfer computation. Lonsus is a planet visited in human resources. Loitellum a.k.a. Loitellium is another planet that was destroyed by Zanak in the Pirate Planet. Its name is seen briefly in the Captain's Trophy Room. Lucifer is a gas giant planet featured in the Virgin New Adventures book Lucifer rising with its two moons, Moloch and Belial. The planet held many mysteries for the Project Eden research team. The first being the construction of a bridge between the two moons and the chambers and technology built within the moons. The second being a new and unnamed super-dense element that was detected at the core of the planet. The dominant species on the planet were named Angels by the Project Eden team. It is also mentioned in the Ninth Doctor episode, Bad Wolf. Lerma is a planet mentioned in Carnival of Monsters. Lvan, a.k.a. Luan, is another planet mentioned in Nightmare of Eden. Topic. M. Magellan is a planet visited by the Fifth Doctor in the Doctor Who Monthly, the official Doctor Who magazine comic strip, The Moderator. Magnus or Magnus Epsilon was an Earth colony visited in the unfilmed but novelized script Mission to Magnus. Females dominate the society. Malcasero is a planet featured in the Tenth Doctor episode, Utopia. It is the home of Chantho's people, the Malmuth, in their city, conglomeration. By the end of the universe it is home to a human refugee camp, space program, and the hostile future kind with almost all of the Malmuth wiped out. Manusa is the setting of the fifth Doctor serial snake dance. The planet's surface is arid and sandy and is dotted by ragged rocks. Marinus is the setting of the first Doctor serial The Keys of Marinus. It was home to a human-like race, the disembodied brains of Morpho, and the Vord. The Doctor Who magazine comic strip, The World Shapers, suggests that Marinus is in fact Mondas. Marpesia is another planet mentioned in the greatest show in the galaxy. Mars is the homeworld of the Ice Warriors and the Flood. The Tenth Doctor postulated that the Ice Warriors froze the Flood into a glacier on the planet in a bitter war. Sometime in 2058, human explorers from Earth laid the foundations for their Bowie base one colony upon this glacier in the hope that it would become the source of their water supplies, as seen in the 2009 episode, The Waters of Mars. It is also the planet of origin of mysterious signals saying, Beware Satek, that were being beamed to Earth in pyramids of Mars. The Osirens left the Godengine weapon there. The Usurians engineered it to make it habitable by humans until the humans depleted its resources. In The Long Game, a reference is also made to the University of Mars. Aliens made contact with humans researching Mars in the Ambassadors of Death, but these beings were not native to the planet. Mechanus is a jungle-covered world inhabited by the Mechonoids, robots sent to prepare the planet for human colonization. It is also the home of native fungoid life forms known as gubbage cones. Melagophon a.k.a. Melagophon is another planet mentioned in the greatest show in the galaxy. Melissa Majoria is the homeworld of most of the Earth's bees. It was mentioned in The Stolen Earth. Mur is one of the ten planets that had its entire population stolen, bar one person, in IDW's Doctor Who comic series. Mesmerus is a planet inhabited by the Hipton race. It is mentioned in the Dalek Pocketbook and Space Traveler's Guide. Messaline is a planet visited by the Doctor in The Doctor's Daughter. The planet is in a state of constant war. Before it was terraformed at the end of The Doctor's Daughter, the planet's surface was cold, windy and rocky, and covered in tar pits. 
According to Martha Jones, the atmosphere is 80% oxygen and 20% nitrogen. The planet also has three suns. It is the homeworld of the eponymous character, Jenny. Metallurgus 5 is a planet mentioned in the novel The Resurrection Casket. Meta Sigma Folio, a.k.a. Meta Sigma Polia, is a planet mentioned at the end of the episode, Last of the Time Lords. It is said to have a sky that looks like oil on water. It is also said to be the place where you can see a burst of starfire. Meta Vorka 6 is a planet mentioned in Part 1 of the Sarah Jane Adventures story The Last Santaran where the Vorkashan Horde travel in spacecraft about the size of a coffee cup. Metazula Beta is a planet mentioned in the Maltese Penguin as the location where Dogbolter's organization manufactures plastic chairs. Metabellus 3 aka the Blue Planet is where the Third Doctor takes a perfect blue crystal a Metabellus Sapphire, which contains strange powers from In the Green Death, and where he returns to In the Serial Planet of the Spiders. It is also mentioned in Carnival of Monsters. It is again mentioned in the 2013 episode, Hide, in which the Eleventh Doctor uses a blue crystal to amplify the natural clairvoyant abilities of a psychic in a device called a psychochronograph. The planet has a blue sun, has more than one moon, blue mountains, the nighttime sky is blue, and is light blue during the day, and often snows at night. Mist sometimes rolls over its surface. Native creatures include metabelian snakes, giant snakes, meat-eating tentacles and giant flying predators, which are seen briefly in the Green Death when the Doctor visits the planet. It is called the Blue Planet because the moonlight is blue. In his impersonation of Tom Baker as the fourth Doctor in Dead Ringers, John Coleshaw makes frequent reference to this planet. According to Part 2 of the Sarah Jane Adventures story The Lost Boy, the Metabellan Cosmic Cluster is home to 68,000 lifeforms. Metrolubit is a remote human colony in the Fostrix galaxy in the 58th segment of time. The capital city is Metron. An intelligent gestalt of flies named Hive existed here, and could possess and animate dead bodies. Miasmia Goria is a planet ruled by the Rani. Midnight is a leisure planet visited by the Tenth Doctor and Donna in the episode of the same name. It has golden spas, anti-gravity restaurants, sapphire waterfalls, and a landscape of diamonds. The planet's sun emits X-tonic radiation, which vaporizes organic matter and can only be viewed safely through sufficiently thick finito glass. The radiation poisons the diamonds, so the planet's surface can never be touched. However, there is some form of native life, which possesses a tourist named Sky Silvestri. Minyos is the original homeworld of the Minyans, and Minyos too is where they settle at the end of the serial underworld. Mira is the planet of the invisible predatory Visions, visited in the Daleks' master plan. It is described as a strange planet in a strange galaxy, what we see of the planet is mostly swamp-like. Mirabilis Major and Mirabilis Minor are both mentioned in the Rebo's operation. The Mobox homeworld was visited in the Doctor Who magazine comic strip, Euroboros. The Mobox were intelligent, bulky creatures that could breathe fire. Mogar is a planet stripped bare of all its natural resources by humans. In Terror of the Vervoids, the Hyperion 3 spaceship sets off from Mogar with a cargo of deadly vervoids created on the planet. Mogar is, or was, the source of many valuable and rare metals, including the mineral Vionesium, a mineral similar to magnesium, that emits an intense light when exposed to oxygen. Mogar is an oxygen-free planet with a reddish surface. Mondoran is a planet now in ruins by the Cybermen. The Cybermen hold curfews with nightly patrols every day on the planet making sure no one is on the streets. Mondas is the home planet of the Cybermen, first seen in the Tenth Planet. An exact physical duplicate of the Earth, it drifted away to the edge of space before returning to its destruction. The Fifth Doctor visited it earlier in its history in the audio drama Spare Parts. Marestra is a planet mentioned in Planet of Evil. It is located in the Artoro galaxy. 
Morocco is the home of the Morocs, the rulers of Zeros in the Space Museum. At one point, Morocco was the center of a large interstellar empire. The Museum of the Last Ones is the setting of the 10th Doctor New series adventures novel The Last Dodo. It is an entire planet dedicated to a museum displaying the last of every species from every planet in the universe. Muscalane is another planet mentioned in the greatest show in the galaxy. Meyer is a planet first visited in the fifth episode of The Infinite Quest and the prime setting of the sixth and seventh. It is the location of the third data chip that will lead to the infinite. The planet was claimed by both the human empire and the Mantisfid hive. Topic N Navarros or Navarro is the planet of the Navarinos, tour-loving aliens from the Seventh Doctor serial Delta and the Bannerman. Necros is a frozen planet used as a final resting place for the galaxy's dead. It features in the serial revelation of the Daleks. It also has dark land masses and is almost constantly bombarded by turbulent weather. Nephron is a planet in a distant galaxy. It is the home of Brimo, an immortal, from the Doctor Who weekly comic strip, The Time Witch. Neogorgon is another planet mentioned in the greatest show in the galaxy. New Alexandria is the planet that hosted the restaurant The Crystal Bucephalus in the novel of the same name. It is heavily implied to be the ruins of Gallifrey. New Earth is a planet in the galaxy M87, first seen in the episode of the same name. It is the new home of humanity five billion years in the future. New Earth is the same size as Earth and has the same atmosphere and orbit, though the continents and ecology are different. Visible in New Earth's sky are a large, pink body and a smaller, closer, white body, both exhibiting phases. The orbital relationship between New Earth and these two bodies is not described. The city of New New York, the 15th New York after the original, is located here. In Gridlock, much of the planet's population has died from a virus, save for those isolated in the underground motorway of New New York, which is also home to numerous devolved macra. New Earth is the home of the Testimony Foundation as depicted in Twice Upon a Time. Another planet named New Earth, unrelated to the above, was visited in the Doctor Who weekly comic strip, The Dogs of Doom. The inhabitants were being transformed into werelocks, in a scheme revealed to be masterminded by the Daleks. New Savannah is a planet in the Felinus system, in the galaxy M57. It was the home planet of the cat kind. On the eve of the year 5 billion, it became part of the new human empire. Visited in IDW's Doctor Who comic series. New Venus is a planet mentioned in The Long Game. In the year 200,000, sandstorms on this planet kill 200 sentients in the archipelago. Numa is a planet visited in the novel Speed of Flight. For 4,000 years, a genetic experiment was conducted on the natives. Naira 4 is one of the 10 planets that had its entire population stolen, bar one person, in IDW's Doctor Who comic series. Topic O Oberon is a planet mentioned in Revelation of the Daleks. Oblivion is the homeworld of the Eighth Doctor's companion Destry. The planet appeared in the Doctor Who magazine comic strip of the same name. Obsidian is a planet mentioned in the series 8 episode, Mummy on the Orient Express. The Twelfth Doctor said that it was a planet of perpetual darkness. Akora was the homeworld of the Salakians. The native Akorans were hunted by beings from Kalaya, and surgically altered themselves to become a warrior race known as the Salakians. Akora was destroyed by a G-bomb in the final sanction. The otherwise unnamed Ogron planet, a huge gray ball many light years away from the central spaceways, is the homeworld of the Ogrons and is the setting for the last two episodes of Frontier in Space. 
In the fourth Dr. Virgin Missing Adventures book The Romance of Crime, it is named Bra. The human designation for the planet is Orestes, according to the novel So Vile a Sin, it is said to be a moon of the gas giant Clytemnestra, in the Agamemnon system. Ogros is a planet of Tau Ceti notable for its amino acid swamps. The Ogri originate from Ogros. Mentioned though not seen in the Stones of Blood. Olympus is a planet visited by the Fourth Doctor and K-9 in the comic strip, The Life Bringer, which is home to an immortal near-human race known as the Olympians. The Ood Sphere is the homeworld of the Ood in the episode, Planet of the Ood, and the two-part story The End of Time. It is a barren, icy planet with vast mountains and caves. A couple of moons and a grayish-pink colored ringed planet can be seen in its sky. It lies close to the sense sphere, and according to the Tenth Doctor, is in the same star system. It is located in Galactic Sector 242.16. Omphalos one of the ten planets that had its entire population stolen, bar one person, in IDW's Doctor Who comic series. Asidon is the home planet of the Krulls from the Android Invasion. Oscarian Varan Tak, eponymous character of the Doctor Who monthly comic strip, The Collector, was from Oscarian. O3s is another planet mentioned in the greatest show in the galaxy. Overod is another planet mentioned in the greatest show in the galaxy. Topic. P. Padrival Regency 9 is a planet mentioned in Smith and Jones. Pandatoria is a planet with great lakes which are home to the Pandatorian Conga, a fish longer than a railway train, mentioned in the sixth Doctor story The Two Doctors. Paracon and the Paracon Corporation attempted to sell rapine to Earth in the Paradise of Death. This would have left the Earth devastated. Paradost is a planet visited in the Doctor Who magazine comic strip, The Glorious Dead. Paradost was a planetary museum, home to exhibits of a million species. Peladon is the setting of the third Doctor serials The Curse of Peladon and The Monster of Peladon, as well as the Virgin New Adventure Legacy and the Big Finish Audio Adventures The Bride of Peladon and The Prisoner of Peladon. It is a planet ruled by a monarch. Penhaxico II is the planet Max Capricorn, a cyborg, planned to retire to in Voyage of the Damned. He mentioned tropical beaches, and ladies who are, I hear, very fond of metal. Parabia is another planet mentioned in the greatest show in the galaxy. Phaestor Osiris is the home planet of the Osirens, a powerful race who left their mark on Mars in the Virgin New Adventures novel Godengine and on Earth in the fourth Doctor serial Pyramids of Mars. Pharos is a planet visited in the second episode of The Infinite Quest. It is the homeworld of Ka, Baltazar's robotic parrot. The metal birds of Pharos are powered by gold fusion. Phrixus is the home planet of the wolf-like Phrixians, located in NGC 4258. The Phrixians appeared in the English Way of Death. Planet 1 is the setting of the Doctor Trap. It is a planet filled with molecular machines, enabling anything its ruler desires to be created. Planet 14 is a planet on which the Doctor encountered the Cybermen, as mentioned in the Invasion and the Doctor Falls. Planet 1 is the oldest planet in the universe, a lush verdant jungle world of massive trees and gigantic mushrooms. Carved into the universe's oldest cliff face are the words, Hello Sweetie, and a set of temporal coordinates written left as a message by River Song, untranslatable until the 11th Doctor and Amy Pond land therein. The Pandorica opens. Planet of the Coffee Shops is a planet mentioned in The Girl Who Waited. According to the 11th Doctor, the world voted was number one in the top ten destinations for the discerning traveler. Its name speaks for itself. The Doctor refused to take Amy Pond and Rory Williams there as he thought it hideous, because everyone goes to number one. 
Pluto is the setting of the fourth Doctor serial The Sun Makers, in which it is endowed with six suns and a breathable atmosphere, owing to the engineering practices of the Usurians. Polarfree is a frozen gas giant found in the Gallifrey system, mentioned in Lungbarrow. Polymos is the home planet of the Nestine consciousness according to the missing adventure Millennial Rites and the past Doctor Adventure Synthespians. Polongus is a planet mentioned in the Sarah Jane Adventures serial The Wedding of Sarah Jane Smith. A species of multi-eyed, slug-like, creatures is native to the planet. Poosh is a planet mentioned in Midnight. Its moon was the subject of study by student D. D. Blasco. In The Stolen Earth, the lost moon is revealed to be one of the 27 worlds taken by Davros. It is returned in Journey's End. Pontin is a planet mentioned in the Rebo's operation. Pasakar is a planet mentioned in Mind Warp. Proamon was the homeworld of Cain, the icy ruler of Iceworld in the seventh Doctor story Dragonfire. It was destroyed a thousand years after his exile. Pyro Shika is a planet with several moons mentioned in the sixth Doctor story Terror of the Vervoids. Pyrovilia is the homeworld of the Pyroviles, rock beings featured in The Fires of Pompeii. The planet was lost, prompting the Pyroviles's attempt to colonize the Earth and convert humanity into their own kind using Mount Vesuvius. In the Stolen Earth. It is revealed that Davros was responsible for the planet's disappearance. It was returned to where it belonged by Donna in Journey's End. Topic Q. Quelicton is the only planet, apart from Bandra genus V, on which the mineral Oolion occurs naturally. Mentioned in the fourth Doctor story The Pirate Planet. Quinnus is a planet in the fourth universe visited by the first Doctor and Susan as referenced in the serial The Edge of Destruction. Topic R. Raga is the penal planet of the Terraleptals, as mentioned in The Visitation. The prisoners work in Tinclavic mines. In The Awakening, it is stated that Ragan Tinclavic is used by the people of Harkel. Revolox is the titular planet of the mysterious planet. It is actually Earth, displaced by the Time Lords through time and space and renamed. It features a black light pinnacle of tremendous power. Raxacorica Philopatorius, first mentioned in World War III, is the home planet of the Raxacorica Philopatorians, including the criminal Slitheen, Blatherine and Hostrazine families. The difficulty characters have in pronouncing its name as a recurring joke in the show. According to the book Monsters and Villains, the planet is a paradise with burgundy seas and four polar regions. Love and Monsters mentions that its sister planet is Klom. The planet's name is misspelled Rexacoricus Valivatorius in DVD subtitles. Raha Karitso Varlan Pretorius is a planet mentioned in the Sarah Jane Adventures episodes Revenge of the Slitheen and the Gift as being one of four planets in the Roxas Alliance, alongside Raxacorica Philopatorius, Klom and Klix. Reblay Beta is a planet mentioned in the Tenth Doctor New Series Adventures novel The Last Dodo. Red Rocket Rising is a human planet attacked by the Daleks in the audio play Blood of the Daleks. It seems to be in the same planetary system as Telos. Red Sky Lost is a planet that was home to a species of felinoid hunters. By the time of Prisoner of the Daleks, only one of the race remained, after the planet was attacked by the Daleks. Refusis II, also called simply Refusis, is the destination for the refugees of humanity in the Ark, as they flee the devastation of Earth by the Sun in 10 million AD. It is a verdant world, and its native people have been rendered invisible and bodiless by a solar flare. Rexel IV is the home planet of the Carrionites, as mentioned in The Shakespeare Code, located in the Rexel planetary configuration. Rebos is the setting for the start of the quest for the key to time in the Rebos operation. Rebos is located in the constellation of Skythra. 
It is also 116 parsecs from the planet Sirenus Minima and is three light centuries away from the Magellanic Clouds. Rebos takes 64 local years to complete one elliptical orbit around its sun. It has two seasons known as sun time and ice time, each last for 32 years. Ice time can be particularly harsh for the natives of the planet. Ruta 3 is the home planet of the Rutan host, described by the Fourth Doctor as icy and inhospitable for humans in the 1977 story horror of Fang Rock. Ryla is a planet featured in the Doctor Who crossover novel All-Consuming Fire. It is based on H.P. Lovecraft's Relia. Topic S. S14 is an alternative name for Diva Loca. Solarius is a planet mentioned in the Resurrection Casket. Salastophis is a planet in the constellation of Andromeda. Sabalome Glitz revealed in the mysterious planet that this was his home planet. Salvic is a neighboring planet to Magnus in Mission to Magnus. San Helios is the desert world visited by the Tenth Doctor and Lady Christina de Souza in Planet of the Dead. San Helios had a population of 100 billion, prior to an attack by an alien swarm. It is located in the Scorpion Nebula, which is on the other side of the universe to Earth, and has three suns one blue, one white and one orange. The planet had mountains, oceans, wildlife and vegetation, some of which could be found around San Helios City, the planet's capital, until it was all destroyed, turned into sand. San Kaloon a.k.a. San Kaloon is a planet visited by the Ninth Doctor and Rose. It has a glass pyramid. It was mentioned in Boom Town. It is also mentioned somewhere in the original series, though under a different spelling. Santini is a planet inhabited by a human-like people. It's rich in resources and has huge forests. It was a major setting of Death Comes to Time, and was invaded by the Canisians. Sans World is a planet mentioned in the book Monsters and Villains in the year 5 billion. Sarn is the planet of fire in the Fifth Doctor serial of the same name. It is a rocky and barren planet with a high amount of volcanic activity. The Spanish island of Lanzarote, with its unique volcanic features, was the filming location for Sarn. Saturnine was the homeworld of the Saturnenians or Sisters of the Water, a race of exoskeletal creatures, who thrived in the planet's seas, but were later besieged by cracks in time. At first the cracks appeared to pose no real danger and the aliens were able to observe other worlds through them. Eventually however, the true nature of the cracks became apparent and Saturnine was consumed, forcing the Saturnenians to flee through the smaller cracks to other worlds. It was mentioned in The Vampires of Venice. Sava is a planet mentioned in the Ark. Scalpor is a planet mentioned in Vengeance on Veros. Scrantec is the home planet of the horrific fleshsmiths, in the novel Prime Time. It is located in the Brago Nebula, and plagued by ionizing radiation and lightning storms that have destroyed the natives' bodies. Scotia is a planet mentioned in the Resurrection Casket. Sagonax is a dusty, arid, desert planet with a blue atmosphere. A large, magenta-pink ringed planet is seen in Sagonax's skyline. There is little plant life, animal life and water on the planet, but is not without a stable ecosystem or life, including the native Sagonaxians. It is also where the psychic circus is performing in the greatest show in the galaxy. This is one of many planets that were visited by the psychic circus. The Sense Sphere is the home planet of the Sensorites, a telepathic but xenophobic species. It has a high concentration of the valuable element molybdenum. It is located near to the planet Oud sphere. It is first seen in the Sensorites. Shada is the prison planet of the Time Lords in the serial of the same name. Shadmok is a planet in the Rexel planetary configuration with a hollow moon. Shalakatop, a.k.a. Chalakatop, one of the 27 planets taken by Davros in the Stolen Earth 
Shan Shen is a planet visited in Turn Left. The planet was inhabited by humanoid species with a somewhat Chinese-influenced culture described as a Chino planet, a mixture of flags, pagodas and futuristic skyscrapers influenced by ancient Chinese architecture. It has two moons, and lies millions of light years from Earth. Shantella Prime is a planet mentioned in the 10th Doctor comic strip, Witch Switch, in Doctor Who magazine. Shalana aka Shrilana is a planet mentioned in the 11th Doctor episode The Girl Who Waited Amy Pond walks through an Apollopushan garden the topiary of which is said according to the interface to be perfect replicas of those found on a Shill Governor's Mansion garden on Shalana A shrub planet an unnamed planet made entirely of shrubs was mentioned in the series 8 episode Mummy on the Orient Express Sigma home planet of the Doctor Who monthly character Dr. Asimov. Cinda Callista is a planet mentioned in the 11th Doctor episode, The Lodger. The Doctor was planning on taking Amy to its fifth moon, but ended up landing on Earth. Seralos is one of the 700 wonders of the universe, and it is the planet made of pure psychic energy that the Master takes over in the computer game Doctor Who, Destiny of the Doctors. Serene is the home planet of one the prisoners in Destiny of the Daleks. Serenus Minima aka Serenus Minima is a planet mentioned in the Rebo's operation. Sirius IV is an Earth colony planet referenced in Frontier in Space. This planet, as well as Sirius V, Androzani Major, Androzani Minor and Alpha Canis I make up the system of five planets known as the Sirius System, which orbits around the star Sirius, which is in fact a binary star, with one white star Sirius A and one white dwarf Sirius B. Sirius V is a planet mentioned in City of Death. It is one of the planets in the Sirius System. Scar was where the Graf Vinda K's men fought in the Alliance Wars mentioned in the Rebo's operation. Scaro is the home planet of the Daleks, the Thals and the Khalids. First seen on screen in a cliffhanger at the end of An Unearthly Child, which led into the Daleks, where it was shown more substantially, Scaro was the first planet other than Earth to appear in Doctor Who. It is a rocky, barren planet with little vegetation. A thick fog sometimes rolls over its surface and its upper atmosphere is colored red. Landmarks include the Lake of Mutations and the Petrified Forest. Davros accidentally destroyed the planet using the Hand of Omega in remembrance of the Daleks, having been tricked by the Seventh Doctor. In the 1996 film Doctor Who, Scaro is shown to have two moons. Scaro was seen again in the episode, Asylum of the Daleks. It is referred to by the Movellans in Destiny of the Daleks as D5 Gamma Z Alpha. Skanos is the setting for much of the Horns of Nyman. Skythros is mentioned in the Rebo's operation. The Slew of the Disunited Planets is the setting of the Doctor Who magazine comic strip story The Warkeeper's Crown. The Disunited Planets form a galaxy where the inhabitants have waged war since the near the beginning of time and is a place where space travelers avoid at all costs. Sol 3 is another name for Earth. It was used in the beginning scenes of the episode Last of the Time Lords. Solos is the setting of the third Doctor serial The Mutants. During the day, the ultraviolet rays from its sun makes its atmosphere poisonous to humans. It has four seasons, each lasting 500 years. Santar or Santara, is the homeworld of the Santarans. The Virgin Missing Adventures novel The Crystal Bucephalus by Craig Hinton names the planet as Santara, yet in The Santaran Stratagem and The Poison Sky, the Santarans referred to their home planet as Santar. The official website explicitly states their home planet as Santar. Spiridon is an inhospitable planet, home to the Spiridons, a race of beings with the natural ability to become invisible. The Daleks kept a secret army there in Planet of the Daleks. In this story, Spiridon is discovered to be a lush, green jungle planet where the plant life is more animal than plant. 
Temperatures range from tropical in the day to below freezing at night. Its landmarks include the Plain of Stones, molten ice pools, molten ice being ice that never freezes but is extremely cold, and molten ice volcanoes. Spiridon is also featured in the Doctor Who magazine comic strip Story Emperor of the Daleks, and the audio drama Return of the Daleks. Splendirosa is home to a floating coral city, visited in the short story, Grand Theft Planet. Starfall is the setting of the 10th Doctor New Series Adventures novel The Resurrection Casket, a planet where no technology works except steam power due to the EMP which covers the entire world of Starfall except for the outskirts. Stella Stora is a planet mentioned in Terror of the Vervoids. Stowe is a planet located in the Cassavalian Belt. It is the home planet of those, including Astrid Peth and Max Capricorn, aboard the Titanic in Voyage of the Damned. Although the dominant species is human-like, Stowe is also home to the red, spiny-skinned Zachi, and to cyborgs who are treated as an underclass. Stormcage is a prison planet for the worst criminals in the galaxies. Dr. River Song, or Melody Pond, is put in there for murdering a good, good man. She continually breaks out throughout the series. Strepto is the home planet of the water hags featured in the Torchwood novel, Something in the Water. The Time Traveler's Almanac confirms that it was one of the 27 planets stolen by the Daleks in The Stolen Earth. Strisium is a planet mentioned in City of Death as the location of the Solarium Panatica Gallery. Sunday is the setting of the 10th Doctor New Series Adventures novel Wetworld. It is inhabited by intelligent creatures resembling terrestrial otters. Svartos is the location of Iceworld in the serial Dragonfire. The planet is locked in its orbit, causing one side of the planet to be in permanent sunshine, while the other side is permanently cold and icy. Sycorax is the homeworld of the Sycorax race. Located in the JX-82 system, it was broken up into asteroid starships, including the flagship Fire Trap. It should not be confused with Uranus's moon of the same name. Sylvaniar is a planet visited by the Sixth Doctor in the Doctor Who magazine comic strip, Revelation. It had been infiltrated by Cybermen. Sabo is a planet mentioned in The Creature from the Pit. Topic. T Ta is the headquarters of the Isigri Mining Corporation and features in the second Doctor serial The Space Pirates. Its parent star is called Pliny. Terra is the setting of the fourth Doctor serial The Androids of Terra. It is a planet resembling 19th century Earth, with lush green fields, attractive landscapes and medieval-type forests. Torian Gnomeworld is one of the ten planets that had its entire population stolen, bar one person, in IDW's Doctor Who comic series. Telos is a colony world of the Cybermen, first seen in the Tomb of the Cybermen. It is an arid, mountainous planet that was once an ice planet until the temperatures on the planet rose. The native inhabitants were the Cryans. Terraleptus is the homeworld of the Terraleptals, a race seen in the episode The Visitation. The name of their home planet is mentioned in the Virgin Missing Adventures novel The Dark Path. Terra Alpha is the location of Helen A's misery-free colony, or so some believe, in the Happiness Patrol. It is a gloomy planet with a yellow-purplish atmosphere. The conditions on the planet are terrible and demonstrations are frequent. Teradon was the origin of the Starliner on Alzarius in the Fourth Doctor serial Full Circle. Terserus is the planet on which Chancellor Goth met the Dying Master prior to the Deadly Assassin. It was also the setting of the comic relief spoof episode The Curse of Fatal Death. The spoof described the Terserons as the most gentle, yet most shunned race in the universe, because they communicated through carefully controlled gastric emissions. They became extinct when they discovered fire. Thoros Alpha and Thoros Beta are planets featured in Mind Warp. Thoros Beta is home to the Mentors, an amphibious race. 
The Doctor first encounters a mentor, Syl, in Vengeance on Veros and mention of Thoros Beta is made in that serial. Thoros Alpha is a ringed planet seen in Thoros Beta's skyline and looks green through Thoros Beta's bright neon green atmosphere. Thoros Beta has bright neon pink oceans. Theron is the home planet of the Cyclopean Castellotherons, in the short story, Island of the Sirens. Tierman's World is the setting of the Tenth Doctor new series adventures novel Sick Building. A planet named after the professor that lives there, it is covered by wintry woods. Tigella is a tropical planet that is the neighboring planet to Zalfa Thura in Meglos. Tigus is a planet visited in the Daleks' master plan. It is a young planet and still highly volcanic. Titania is a hot gaseous planet, in a system between the secondary and tertiary arms of the galaxy. Its moon, Dramos, is visited in the novel Burning Heart. Tivoli is mentioned in The God Complex as the most invaded planet in the galaxy. The anthem of Tivoli is Glory to insert name here. And the town planning committee is planning to plant trees along all highways so that invading forces can march in the shade. Tivoli is mentioned again in the season 9 episode, Before the Flood, when one of its various invaders, a warlord known as the Fisher King, is revealed to be responsible for the events of the preceding episode. Both episodes also feature Prentice, a Tivolian undertaker who was charged with bringing the Fisher King's presumed dead body to Earth in order to bury it. Toop was the home planet of the Quevels and Mantidians in the new series adventures novel Winner Takes All. Traken in the Matula Ariansis system was the densely forested homeworld to a race of pacifists and the center of the Traken Union. It was first seen in the Keeper of Traken and destroyed by a wave of entropy in the following story Lagopolis. The Doctor's companion, Nyssa, was a native of Traken. Tranquilla is the setting of part of the ultimate evil, one of the missing episodes that never reached production during Doctor Who's 1985 hiatus. Trenzalore is a planet mentioned in the episode, The Wedding of River Song, and first seen in the name of the doctor. Dorium Maldivar said in The Wedding of River Song that on its war-torn field silence will fall when the oldest question in the universe, Doctor Who, is asked. In The Name of the Doctor, Trenzalore is revealed to be the final resting place of the doctor, entombed in his TARDIS. In the eleventh doctor's swan song, The Time of the Doctor, the question is revealed to have been asked across all of time by the Time Lords on Gallifrey sent to safety in a different universe in the Day of the Doctor to verify the Doctor's presence, that they might return to the universe through a crack in the space-time fabric created when the TARDIS exploded in the Big Bang. This attracts the attention of both the Doctor's various enemies, who intend to resume the Time War, and the Church of the Papal Mainframe, who resolve to destroy the planet and avoid this possibility. As a result, bent on protecting the citizens of the town of Christmas on Trenzalore, the Doctor spends centuries fighting off the invading forces until only the Daleks remain. Clara Oswald chastises the Time Lord's selfishness and points out that he deserves their love and help. They break the regeneration limit established in the Deadly Assassin by sending him a new set of regenerations through the crack, which they close, allowing the Doctor to escape the planet in a new body after hundreds of years of servitude to it. Tryon is the home planet of the Doctor's companion Turlo, featured in Planet of Fire. Triton is the homeworld of the alien Waro in the Devil Goblins from Neptune. Tythonus, a.k.a. Tithonus is the home planet of Arato, the globulous green entity in the fourth Doctor serial The Creature from the Pit. Topic. U Umbika is a planet mentioned in the tenth Doctor novel The Resurrection Casket. It is the planet from which everlasting matches originate. Its winters last for centuries, while its summers only last a few weeks. 
Uniceptor IV planet where the natives developed telepathic dreaming technology, visited in the Doctor Who monthly comic strip, Dreamers of Death. Uranus is the seventh planet in the solar system. It is mentioned in the Daleks' master plan as the galaxy's only source of the element Terranium. Urbanka in the Anokshi system, in the galaxy 1489 is the planet of the frog-like Urbankans, the technologically gifted aliens in the fifth Doctor serial 4 to Doomsday. Once a lush, tropical planet, its habitat was destroyed by radiation. Usurius is the planet of the Usurians, coincidentally a race of usurers who feature in the fourth Doctor serial The Sun Makers. Utopia is the fictional place the last humans are attempting to reach in the Tenth Doctor episode, Utopia. At its coordinates, the last humans found darkness, and eventually cannibalized themselves into the Toklafane. The Master unleashes them on present-day Earth through a rift opened by a paradox generator installed in the TARDIS. UX4732 is a planet with a unique insectoid ecosystem, visited by the Fourth Doctor in the Doctor Who monthly comic strip, Spider God. Uxorius is the location of the Doomsday Weapon in the Third Doctor serial colony in space. In the novelization, Doctor Who and the Doomsday Weapon, it was spelt Exarius. Topic. V Vampire Planet is the unnamed world visited by the Fourth Doctor in the serial State of Decay and subsequently revisited in the Virgin New Adventures story Blood Harvest. It is so named due to the presence of the Great Vampire, a great enemy of the Time Lords who escaped normal space through a CVE to hibernate on the planet in E-Space. It is covered by forests and wooded countryside. Vandos is the home planet of the Vandosians, a race featured in the comic strip Mr. Nobody. Veros is the setting of the sixth Doctor serial Vengeance on Veros and the source of the rare ore Zeiton 7. It is a violent and barbaric world with a red sun and a magenta red atmosphere. It is barren and rocky with little or no vegetation. Vardan is a planet mentioned in Time Flight. Varnakan is a planet inhabited by the eight-armed race called the Octovarns. It was mentioned in the Dalek Pocketbook and Space Traveler's Guide. Vasilip is another planet from the Happiness Patrol. Vel Considine is a planet mentioned in The Satan Pit as a planet which has a representation of the Horned Beast. Venesia is another planet from the Ark. Venus is often mentioned during the Third Doctor's era as the origin of Venusian Aikido, Venusian Karate, Venusian Spearman and a Venusian Lullaby. The planet itself features in the Virgin Missing Adventures novel Venusian Lullaby by Paul Leonard. Verd was a wooded moon of the planet Galxis Bright, visited in the novella Night Dreamers. Verticulus is a planet mentioned in the Space Museum. Vertigan Majoris is a planet mentioned in the first Doctor novel Ten Little Aliens. Vesta 95 was the original destination of the Doctor and Perry in the Twin Dilemma, which he described as a marvelous place for a holiday. Viteria is another planet from the greatest show in the galaxy. Vij is another planet from Nightmare of Eden. Viperin is the home planet of the Viperox from the animated serial Dreamland. Vita 15, in the future, is the homeworld to a race of warriors which Lytton belongs to. Valag Noc is an icy prison planet where Baltazar is imprisoned for a time in the Infinite Quest. It is the coldest planet in the galaxy. Valotha is a planet mentioned in the Two Doctors. Voratia is the home planet of the reptilian Vorelans and their cyber-augmented cousins the Voratians. It is located in the constellation of Skythos. Vortis is the setting of the first Doctor serial The Web Planet, the Monoptera and Zarbi were indigenous species. It is located in the ISOP galaxy. It is characterized by insectoid life forms, acid pools, a crater of needles and a temple of light. It originally had no moons, but several had later been drawn to it. 
Vulcan is home to a human colony in the second Doctor serial The Power of the Daleks. It has an Earth-like atmosphere, but also has Mercury swamps. It may be within Earth's solar system see Vulcan, hypothetical planet. It has no connection to the Star Trek planet of Vulcan. Vulpana is another planet mentioned in the greatest show in the galaxy. Topic W. Wilson One is a planet mentioned in Mind Warp. Woldyhul is a planet visited by the Doctor and Rose in the Doctor Who Adventures. It is a planet dedicated to hyperfilm production, and is used by the great director Zem Fulini in the year 5 billion. Woman Wept is a planet visited by Rose Tyler and the Ninth Doctor where the continental landmass is shaped like a lamenting woman, and the entire ocean, including waves hundreds of feet high, froze in an instant by means of some undisclosed natural disaster. Rose mentioned her visit in Boom Town. It is one of the planets revealed to have been taken by Davros in The Stolen Earth. Topic X Xenon is the home planet of the shape-shifting Wifferdals, of whom Frobisher, the sixth Doctor's comic strip companion, is an example. Zeros is the location of the Space Museum in the first Doctor serial of that name. The native Zerans are humanoids. Zeros was part of the Maroc Empire, located only three light years from Maroc itself. Zarephas is the home planet of the Xerophon, devastated by crossfire in the Vardan Kosnak's War, referred to in the Fifth Doctor serial Time Flight. In The King's Demons it is revealed that Chameleon had been a weapon used by invaders of Zarephas whom the Master had found on the planet. Topic. Z Zakrush is another planet from the Leisure Hive. It is famous for having the galaxy's largest flora collection. Zamper, home of the Zamps, features in the Virgin New Adventures story of the same name. Zanak is the pirate planet, a planet which materializes around other planets to steal their mineral wealth, crushing the planets. The planet is hollow inside, but its surface is pleasant, with green fields, lush vegetation and friendly natives. Zaz is a planet of jazz-loving humans, visited by the Sixth Doctor in the Doctor Who magazine comic strip, The Gift. Zine 4 is another planet from the Leisure Hive. It is famous for its historical reenactments. Zeos is a planet at war with Atrios in the Armageddon Factor. Zeos has a greenish-gray surface. Zephon is a planet mentioned in the first Doctor story The Daleks' Master Plan. It is the center of the Empire that is the fifth galaxy. Zeta Major is a planet mentioned in the Armageddon Factor. Zeta Minor is the farthest planet out in the known universe, and contains samples of antimatter. It was first seen in Planet of Evil. It is a planet covered by lush, swampy jungle. Zil is another planet from Nightmare of Eden. Zalfa Thura is an apparently barren world in Meglos. Zom was a planet where all emotion was outlawed, visited by the fourth Doctor in the Doctor Who weekly comic strip, City of the Damned. Zigor is the homeworld of the Zygons according to the eighth Doctor Adventures novel The Body Snatchers. It was destroyed by an arachnid race from Tau Ceti known as the Zaranti, though this has been directly contradicted on screen in the 50th anniversary special, The Day of the Doctor. When it is explicitly stated the Zygon homeworld, burned, in the first days of the Time War. Topic. Others. Topic. Stars and star-related objects. K37 Gem 5 is a black hole located deep into space, around which orbits the planet Crop Tor. 
The Magellan Black Hole is a massive black hole seen in the Series 8 episode, Mummy on the Orient Express. The Twelfth Doctor mentions a time when the region where the black hole now inhabits was planets as far as the eyes could see, but were all ate up by the black hole. Pliny is the parent star of the planet Ta. Topic. Galaxies The Actaeon Galaxy or Actaeon Group was the location of the planets Inter Minor and Metabellus III, according to Carnival of Monsters et al. The Andromeda Galaxy was the home galaxy of Sabalome Glitz and the sleepers from the Trial of a Time Lord. It was also visited by the Doctor in the world distributor's novella Doctor Who and the Invasion from Space. In the serial The Ark in Space it was said to be the home of the WIRRN. The Fifth Galaxy is the domain of Zephon, Master of the Fifth Galaxy, in the story The Daleks' Master Plan. In the Monster of Peladon, Galaxy 5 is at war with the Federation. Galaxy 4 is the location of the Dravans' home planet in the story Galaxy 4. Galaxy 7 is the location of Arcopolis, setting for the novel The Eyeless. Also called the Sculptor Dwarf Galaxy, it is 290,000 light years from Earth. The ISOP Galaxy is the location of Vortis from the Web Planet, and the Raxacoricophalopatorians. In the episode, Bad Wolf, the face of Bo is said to be the oldest inhabitant of the ISOP Galaxy. The ISOP Galaxy is also the possible location of the Silver Devastation. The Rarth Galaxy was home to the Rarth Warriors and the Vicious Meeps, seen in the Doctor Who weekly comic strip, The Star Beast, and others. Topic. Systems 4X Alpha 4 is the extragalactic star system that is home to the Movellans, as identified by Romana in Destiny of the Daleks. Alpha Centauri is the star system from which the delegate Alpha Centauri, seen in the Curse of Peladon and the Monster of Peladon, originates. The name of Alpha Centauri's planet is not given. The Kara system, a.k.a. Karis system is said to be the location of the infinite in the animated story The Infinite Quest. It contains several planets, at least five of which have rings. The Garazon system is the location of the Garazon Bazaar, visited in the Audio Sword of Orion. The Anokshi system, a.k.a. Anoksha system, is the system of planets that the planet Urbanka is located in. It was mentioned in the serial For to Doomsday. The Prion system is said to be the system that the planets Tigella and Zalfa Thura from Meglos are located. The Rexel planetary configuration is a stellar system that included 14 worlds, sometimes said to be 14 stars, including Rexel 4, Shadmok, and Dravidia. The Scarlet system is a system of planets and suns that was home to the billion year old Pelushi civilization. It is pulled into the black hole that Crop Tor orbits and destroyed in the Impossible Planet. Topic. Nebulae and other stellar regions The Dagmar Cluster is a stellar region that was the location of the SS Madame de Pompadour. It was located two and a half galaxies from Earth. E-space, or exospace, is another universe connected to our own by charged vacuum embottments, through which entropy is vented from N-space or normal space to stave off the heat death of the universe. It contains its own planets, including Adric's homeworld, Alzarius. The Horsehead Nebula is a real nebula that Russell T. Davies said was the general area of the home planet of the Ood, Ood Sphere. In the story, Planet of the Ood, it is mentioned that Sense Sphere from the Sensorites is a near neighbor and therefore presumably also part of the nebula. 
In the Sarah Jane Adventures story Warriors of Kudlik, this was said to be the location of the Ghost Wars, which had lasted for hundreds of years between an alien race known as the Uvodni and another alien race known as the Malik until ten years ago, when a peace treaty was finally established between the two races. The Hercules Cluster is a group of stars observed in the wheel in space. Castorborus is the constellation in which Gallifrey is located. The Lotus Nebula is mentioned by John Hart as being where he could be experiencing 17 simultaneous pleasures in the episode Exit Wounds. The Medusa Cascade is an interuniversal rift, and also a space-time rift. The Master mentions that the Doctor sealed the rift here in Last of the Time Lords. It is mentioned to have a 15th Broken Moon in The Santaran Stratagem in the Stolen Earth. It is where Davros and his Daleks have assembled their 27 stolen planets around Davros Crucible. It was also referenced by Evelina in The Fires of Pompeii, in reference to the Doctor himself. Your real name is hidden. It burns in the stars, in the Cascade of Medusa herself. N space, or normal space, is our universe, where heat death should have already occurred, but for the Logopolitan's creation of the CVEs to shunt the excess entropy into other universes, including E space. Unless otherwise noted, all planets listed are in N space. The obverse, a parallel continuum visited in the novel The Blue Angel possibly the original home of Iris Wildthyme. The Enclave is a pocket universe within the obverse, inhabited by races such as the Gilligast and the Glassmen of Valsia. The Panjassic asteroid field is mentioned in the Doctor Who book Monsters and Villains as the isolated asteroid field bought by the Brothers of Haim in the year 5 billion as a base for the evolution acceleration experiments run on trees, resulting in the Forest of Cheem. The Scorpion Nebula is a molecular cloud described as being on the other side of the universe. To Earth. Within it lies the planet San Helios. The tritovores originate either within the nebula or nearby. The Silver Devastation is a place mentioned to be the origin of the face of Bo in The End of the World. It is also where Professor Yana, the master in human disguise, claims to have been found as an orphan in Utopia. It is a vast stellar region full of dead stars surrounded by degenerate and dark matter, created during a collision between two galaxies. The Phylox series is the location of the planet Andromeda in Castrovalva. The Time Vortex is the continuum that time machines travel through on the way from one destination to another. The Void is the name given by the Time Lords to the infinite nothingness between dimensions, where even time does not exist. According to the Doctor, in Army of Ghosts, Eternals call it the Howling, and some others call it Hell. It is only traversable using a void ship, and prior to the Time War, by a TARDIS. Various inhabitants of a parallel version of Earth most notably the Cybermen were also able to travel across the void to the Earth of the main universe due to the damage caused by the cult of Skaro's void ship. The Tenth Doctor later sealed the void by reversing a process previously used to open it, drawing millions of Cybermen and Daleks into the void in the process. If successfully detonated, the reality bomb created by Davros and the Daleks, seen in Journey's End, would also have destroyed the void. The breaking down of barriers caused by this event allowed Rose Tyler and others who had relocated to the parallel Earth to return to the main universe, and the Tenth Doctor was able to travel there to return Rose, her mother Jackie Tyler and the Meta-Crisis Tenth Doctor. Topic. Moons Delta Magna's third moon, known as Delta Three, is the setting of the key to time serial The Power of Kroll. It is mostly covered by wet and boggy swamps, with reeds as tall as the TARDIS. Dramos is the moon of Titania. It was visited in Burning Heart. A third of its surface is covered by an artificial habitat. The third moon of Grundle was home to the voracious Drashigs. 
The Lost Moon of Poosh is a moon of the planet Poosh, first mentioned in Midnight. In The Stolen Earth, it is revealed as one of the 27 planets stolen by the Daleks. The moon is the single, natural satellite of Earth. In Smith and Jones, a hospital was temporarily transported there. From the 21st century onwards it is the location of a number of scientific outposts, such as a weather control center and a T-MAT hub. In the 26th century, it had a prison for political prisoners. The moon was destroyed in the far future in the Doctor Who magazine comic strip, Wormwood, in Dinosaurs on a Spaceship. Set in the 24th century, the 11th Doctor says, Try not to bump into the moon. Otherwise, the races who live there will be livid. In Kill the Moon. Set in 2049, the moon is shown to be a 100 million year old egg containing a gigantic, winged creature. At the end of the episode, the moon is destroyed by the creature's hatching, but is replaced by another egg which it lays. Omega Mysterium, Falcus and Flador are the three moons of Skaro. They were mentioned in both the Daleks comic strip and the Time War audiobook. First appearing in the Dalek book, Flador is a dead world rich in blue-veined gold. Two of the three moons were also seen very briefly at the beginning of the Doctor Who TV movie. Phobos is a moon of Mars created by the Ice Warriors. By the year 2589 it served as a popular destination for extreme sports. Pictos is one of Vortis moons from the web planet. Titan is a moon of Saturn visited in the invisible enemy. There is an unnamed moon or planetoid of Vertigan Majoris that was visited in the first Doctor novel Ten Little Aliens. Voga is also known as the planet of gold. A wandering asteroid captured by Jupiter's orbit, it is homeworld to the Vogans and contains more gold than in the rest of the known galaxy. The Cybermen try to destroy it in revenge of the Cybermen. Topic. Asteroids Demons Run is an asteroid on which a military base was built on. It is the birthplace of Melody Pond, its infirmary served as a prison for Amy Pond from shortly after Melody's conception until weeks after the latter's birth. The name of the asteroid, on which the majority of a good man goes to war, takes place, is derived from an old saying. Demons run when a good man goes to war. The first line of an eight-line poem. Topic. Miscellaneous The Beauchene Peninsula is a human colony city on a so far unnamed desert planet. It is the birthplace of Jack Harkness. The Roxbourne Peninsula is a commerce colony that Solomon was headed for in the episode Dinosaurs on a Spaceship. The city-state of Binding Light is the nation that sent representatives to witness the Earth's destruction in The End of the World. Crespolian is the home of the diminutive, blue-skinned humanoid race who run Platform 1 in The End of the World. It is described by Rafalo as not being a planet, but rather part of the Jagged Brocade, affiliated to the Scarlet Junction, Convex 56. Magla is mentioned in Destiny of the Daleks. Magla is actually an 8,000-mile-wide amoeba which has grown a crusty shell, often mistaken for a planet. A parallel Earth was visited by the Third Doctor in Inferno, though is possibly destroyed by volcanic eruptions as the Doctor returns to his world. Another parallel Earth, later given the name Pete's World by the Tenth Doctor, was visited by the Tenth Doctor, Rose and Mickey in the episodes Rise of the Cybermen, The Age of Steel, Doomsday, and Journey's End. Another parallel Earth called Terra Nova which the Sixth Doctor, Perry and the Rani visited in the story State of Change. Terminus is not a planet, but a planet-sized spacecraft that caused the Big Bang and lies at the center of the universe. 
Its engines are capable of causing another explosion that will end the universe, and the radiation leaking from them is the cure for Lazar's disease. Topic. See also Planets in science fiction equals equals notes